Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And today, <laughs> girl, yes, today, today I'm going to get y'all right together, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, sometimes I listen back to my videos and I be like, how do they even deal with you? You is a ridiculous chick. Okay, so for real, um, today I'm here with Baby Vegas. Yes, Vegas. Um, and Vegas is the Willow Asleep Sculpt, sculpted by Claire Teller and painted by myself. Um, he got dressed the other day in the other video, and I'm not going to dress him in this video, but I'm going to talk about silicone, so I thought I would leave him on here. So, um, alright. So, so I was, I was reading something the other day, and I saw somebody said, um... They were talking about the silicone, leaving pacifiers in silicone mouths can cause them to rip. Let me, let me tell you guys, oh, I want to do like that girl on TikTok, like she just running and be like, let me tell you guys, you know, like that's how I feel. But let me tell you guys, people will scare the hell out of you with silicone, like seriously, like there's no nice way to put it. I'm telling you. Let me say that again. People will scare the hell out of you with silicone. Like, people make silicone seem so freaking fragile. Let me, let me, let me say this. First of all, people talk about all the paint coming off. All the paint, um, all the, what is, the paint, them losing paint. But then we got reborns where the paint is cracking or paint is coming off on them. But nobody makes a huge deal about that and say, oh my gosh. Okay. And then, now, granted, granted, uh, wait a minute, hold your horses before y'all be like, yeah, 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 but. Okay, but here's the thing. Definitely, it hurts a lot different when you lose paint on a $5,000 doll versus a $500 one. Trust me, that hurt is totally different. So I get it. I get it. But here's the thing, if you're a collector that take care of your babies, your reborns, you're very particular about your babies anyway, you're gonna be okay with your silicone. Because you're, you're gonna be okay with your silicone because that's all it takes. The same amount of care and the way you handle your reborns is the way you handle your vinyl. I mean, your, your silicone. They are soft. See? He's squishy, squishy. He is squishy. Okay? You see that, Mama Puka? He is squishy. No doubt. Um, when I pick him up, I don't pick him up by one arm. Pick him up both arms. Um, because... Claire sculpts with armpits. Some dolls don't have armpits, so you have to pick them up a different way. But I can pick him up under his arms, but I'm careful not to just really pull on his arms, you know? Um, just like I wouldn't with a real baby. You wouldn't pull on a real baby arms. Um, when I'm dressing him, I pull the clothes and not his hands and arms and limbs and stuff, just like you do with your reborns. Um, when I pick him up, I hold his head just like I do with my reborns. I am not afraid of his head falling off. It can lean all the way back. Sure. But it's not coming off. I just don't want to do that because why would you do that? Like what, what would make you hold a baby like that? Like, why would you do that? Like. Other than to show just now what I did. Um, silicone is very dur durable. A lot of people don't understand this. It is very durable. Silicone, I could literally stretch his arm right now. Like all the way out without it coming off. But I ain't going to do that. Um, one collector actually slash artist actually did that on a video. Um, in fact, I think it was with this sculpt. And... The one thing that I got out of it, even though she was trying to show that it was too soft or something, what I got out of it is, wow, she did all that and that silicone still stayed intact. So, I think a first, 
initially we're you're nervous like even me if i get a new baby like when vegas first got done me picking him up handling him was like i just handled silicone for the first time i do it every single time but after a while i'm a lot more comfortable with them now as far as the pacifiers go, if the baby has a closed mouth like this, you don't want to leave a pacifier in its mouth because it will eventually have it where it has an opening more gapped open than it originally was because it'll, it'll stretch it out. But if he has an open mouth, like he has an open mouth, I could leave his pacifier in there because he already have an open mouth and it's not going to do anything to it. Um when you leave it doesn't tear the mouth or do anything to it unless you force it in there um the size of their mouth here you don't want to be pulling it down like this and that's why most people recommend that you either put powder on the nipple or like uh, now everybody's you know ky or you put it on there so it can ease in and you don't have to keep pushing and squishing and so you don't accidentally get a tear in the side the corners of the mouth um but just leave it in in there won't make it tear it's not going to be pulling and stretching like now unless you got like a barbell weighted pacifier in the mouth and then it's like dragging it all the way down like that and eventually yeah it's gonna tear um the other thing is i don't use that uh the rubber um latex pacifiers in my baby's mouth as cute as they are if you look hard enough there are some that look like latex that's not um that is silicone that you can use but i just don't recommend it because if you do ever need a repair or something that person is going to catch hell trying to get that paint to cure and it may or may not even cure um it is possible that it will work I had a mommy that I told specifically not to do anything to her doll before she sent the kit to me. And she sent me a picture and she had a pacifier in her mouth. But what kind of pacifier was it? It was a latex one <laughs> of all pacifiers. This is why it was blank. Um, I was able to get the paint to cure in the baby mouth, but who wants to take that chance? You wanna have a whole baby painted and the mouth still blank because the paint don't cure or it's all sketchy or whatever. I mean, some of the things that we do, we cause the problems on ourselves, and then we're looking crazy and looking at the artist. Like, why take the chance when you don't have to? You know what I mean? This is your money, your investment. So yeah, you you want to be you want to be careful. Um, armatures, armatures. You you one armature is not the same as others. I see people saying, "Oh, you gotta hold it to do all this." Listen. Some I do. Clartella armatures, I just move their arms like they're, you know, like I would a regular doll. Like I don't, I don't have to uh, do all this hole and press. And you can't even feel her armatures in there unless you really like. When I feel right here, I feel it. I feel like it's a like a bone, like a little bit of a bone. But you gotta really be feeling for it. But it's but then there are some armatures that feels like coat hangers. So yeah, you want to be careful because those I feel will poke through, maybe, or you know, could possibly break a snap or something. I don't know. Um, I haven't had many others outside of you know, um, Claritella uh, armatures because you know, and I say that because. Uh, even winter is still Claritella armatures because she pour and install the armatures for uh, 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 Lily. Now that's another thing I want to talk about these aftermarket products. You get a Claritella doll, you buy it plain blank, and you you I mean and you say I don't want no armatures, I don't want no drinking wet. You get it at the base price because you think you're saving money, right? So you send it to your friend, Shahoba Boba, and Shahoba Boba knows how to put armatures in, and she knows how to put a drink in wet. Everybody don't install them the same way. You're dealing with a difference of maybe quality. Maybe they are great at it. Maybe they put them the same way. My problem is, is that I just paid 
$2,000 for this doll and I'm gonna send it to Hobie Joby and because I didn't want to spend $500 for it, the the drinking wet to be in the baby properly and warranted because now you're voided the warranty once you do these things to your doll you got the 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 the, the, the tube hanging out the koopa loopa and the the pee hole in the pee pee like that big you know all this crazy stuff that looks disgusting if you ask me this is just my opinion it, it looks it looks disgusting I ain't gonna lie. It looks scary. It looks painful. I don't want to look at it when I change the diaper if it's going to look that way. I Unfortunately, I can't show that on here on YouTube. But you, his little private parts look the same as any other baby. Real baby. You don't see anything there. But he pees like a champ. <laughs> um, so, and then same with her girls. Um, the ones that she do on Lillian's maybe a little bit as far as the girls maybe a little bit um you still can't see them but it may look less real that's because Lillian don't typically sculpt a realistic girl bit so you know she 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 can only do what she can do to work with it on that but i seen her recent Lillian recent uh kit that's coming out look like she got a a, a pretty real you know girl bit so maybe even with that one but even with then she still claire still managed to put them in to where they're not hanging out so the aftermarket products i'm not trying to knock y'all hustle out there on these streets that's trying to you know sling you know drinking wets and um armatures but y'all crazy <laughs> like i ain't gonna spend 2200 dollars for you to go and put no wire coat hanger up in there and that thing popping or sticking through the doll's shoulder. And you know what I'm saying? And then when I could have just got paid a little bit extra and got something that's, you know, that's of quality. And not and also that is going to be warranted. Because once you do that, the minute you do that, you violate it. There's no, you can't be like, oh, this don't work, that don't work type situation. So anyway moving past that I just I don't know why I got stuck on that but yeah um silicone um peeling sometime you might experience some peeling um I don't know what caused that sometime if you did excessive rubbing or maybe the paint was never cured to begin with silicone is so finicky it's so many things shine spots is something that people you know oh my god it's the end of the world Baby got a shine spot. Um, it, if you knew how it it was to, it's doing a reflection on him, and it's driving me crazy. Um, it looked like he got like scratches or something in his face because of the shadow. But anyway, um, if you knew how tedious it is to mat, you would know why. Every now and then, someone gets a shine spot. Um, there's after products for that. A lot of people use D3 Just Matte. Um, you can also probably use um, the matte powder that Claire Teller sells on her website, even though that's not. it's designed for when you're actually doing the whole actual matting process. I just don't see how it could hurt not um, using it. But then, you know... Um, like I said, a lot of people are very happy with the Just Matte um, by D3. And you just, you know, dust the baby off a little bit. After you dust them off so long, I guess you can rinse them off. That is something that I need to uh, experiment with one of my personal babies for a while and see how it actually works. See if it changes the color over time on the baby. That type of thing. I'm not that experiment, um, that uh, experienced in that area. But I have used it and it does give that silky smooth if that's what you like. Um, me personally, I love the silky smooth. But I also like the other one that's not as silky smooth. And I, I'm not going to get into that right now because people will argue me down about this. But I just feel like I just like a little bit of texture to the skin. Um, I don't... Yeah. Anyway. But I, I, I like both. So definitely both... Um, I so far just only have used uh, Claritella Matte. Um, 
but I am going to experiment with other matte powders uh, here soon. Um, I, I Like I said, I have used D3 matte powder on a baby that was already matted and somewhat painted just, you know, as an after product. Um, but I have not, like, did it to actually matte the baby during the painting process. And that's something I want to experience. So I will order some eventually. And I might actually have some here, but I, I'm going to order some so I make sure it's fresh. And try it on one of my, you know, maybe one of my cuddle heads or something like that. And keep it around for a while and see what, how, how it works. Um, what else? Um, da, 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 da. um, a lot of people when they're dressing the babies, they like to use, uh, like plastic bags. I think that's crazy. But, I, I, I mean, whatever makes you sleep good at night or feel like you, it works for you. I don't particularly, I'm not going through all that. I'm not going to get no damn sleeping, no, uh, plastic bag out my kitchen counter under the sink because y'all know y'all keep them Windex and Walmart bags balled up under that sink. I am not going to get one of them. I am not going to get no, I don't even own saran wrap because I hate the way it smells. I don't like saran wrap, wrap, period. So I ain't doing all that. You know, the hand mitts, I get it. Some people use that. Me personally, I need to feel the fingers. I'm like, one, two, three, four, five, okay. When I pull through, I want to feel the fingers because I feel like with those hand mitts, you can easily think you got them and pull, be pulling, think you're pulling the clothes and pulling feet. I don't, I don't do the hand mitts. But that's a trick that people use with dressing the babies and pulling the hands through the sleeve so they don't get one of the fingers caught or whatever. Um, I pretty much handle my, my dolls just like I handle my real babies or real, you know, now grandbabies. Um, when I dress Bryson, I feel for all his fingers and I pull through to make sure I'm not pulling his little fingers even though his is like moving around and stuff. You know, um, it's a little bit even more challenging. But... That's how I handle my silicone. Um, as far as bathing, you're not really bathing. That's the problem. Some of y'all think y'all finna get in there and put that baby with some Johnson & Johnson and give him a whole scrub. You go right ahead and scrub that paint right on off. I mean, it don't really scrub off like that. Like, people think if it's cured properly because I actually, before I send my babies out, I actually do give them, when I get through painting them, I do actually wash them, wash them, and actually do, like, not, I'm going to say scrub them, but I do actually wash them, like bathe them down. And, you know, that's just, I know that the paint is there and it's, it, it ain't going nowhere type situation. Why is it looking blurry in his face? There we go. Um, so yeah, so I, I, um, but you, you, what you do is like, the baby got a lot of furs on it furries on them especially sometimes you get the wrong blanket oh god you're gonna hate yourself for that when you get this blanket and everything sticks to the it kind of stick on the baby or whatever so you you put it in the bath water and you just in just water and you just rinse it off and you just take the, the the washcloth and squeeze it and you know just rinse it off or take the sprayer and hose them down so to speak it is actually relaxing i won't lie it's relaxing and they look amazing in water they look so real like even if they ain't the most best painted baby in water they look great hence why people take wet photos instead of dry photos to sell the baby and then y'all get in and be like this baby looked like he thirsty he's so dry looking and all this they're ashy looking and stuff yeah that's because you bought it while it was in the water but anyway um, put it in the water and you'll get the same as what you saw on your pictures. <laughs> oh, the shade. But anyway, um, yeah, so water, yeah, water is okay, not all the time. You know, maybe once, twice a year. However you want to do it, enjoy your babies. You know what I mean? It's your, your money, enjoy your babies. Um, I, I just think that you just need to know that none of these dolls are perfect, um, which are reborns. And so, I mean, reborns can mess around and get scratched. So you don't want to lay them against sharp objects and different things. Um, you want to be protective with your reborns as far as clothing, you know, the different dyes and stuff like that. I was told that nothing would transfer over to silicone. I, however, found that to be not true. So I am still just equally as careful with the colors that I put on my silicone than I am with my 
as I am with my Reborns. However, I think you may have a better chance of getting it off of your silicone versus your Reborns because you can wipe it down with alcohol, which is what I did to one of mine when it happened to me and it came right off, but I caught it right away. It wasn't where it stained the silicone. But yeah, those reds and dark blues and stuff. And you know, he he has on this, but it's not really up against his skin. And like these socks and stuff is a, like a lighter blue under here. And I'll take them off probably today, actually. Um, usually I take them off a little bit after the video. But he's so cute in it. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't. But yeah, so um, definitely, you know... You, you want to be careful with silicone, but silicone is not. Let me tell you something. Let, let me tell you something. <laughs> silicone is so fun, okay? Because you don't have to worry about the cloth. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about, like, magnetizing the pacifiers. And that's a whole nother subject and a whole nother day. I don't know why people still making these babies with these closed mouths and expecting artists to be cutting them open and all that and stuff. I can't be dealing with that. I just cannot. It just bothers my soul when I see a baby that I want that is so cute, but the mouth is not open. I just cannot. I will not. I refuse to. So anyway, we'll talk about that in another video. But um, what else that people want to do with silicone? Um, leaving them in the car. You don't want to leave them in the car because people probably bust your window out thinking they're real babies. But, um... The heat is not necessarily going to bother them um, or the cold. I just wouldn't leave any of one of my dolls, reborns, or silicones in extreme temperatures. I like to keep my nursery at a good room temperature um, when it's hot or cold. When it's winter or summer, I like to keep the weather nice as if they're real babies. Um, it's just me. I'm protecting my art, my investment. Some of you guys act like y'all just don't care about y'all money, though. You know what I mean? Like, I see people powdering. Used to, back in the day, they kind of stopped that. They used to be powdering the reborns, wiping them down with soap and water. What in the world? Like, that ain't no silicone, boo. You don't even do... <laughs> Never mind. But some of you guys be doing a whole lot. Y'all do a lot for these pictures. Y'all putting you know, chocolate on your babies for poop. You're putting um, peanut butter on them and those oils from that peanut butter and all that getting into the paint. Baby, that's you. If you do what you do, but that is... Then you come back to the artist and be like, well, I noticed some peeling on the butt. Well, maybe, it ha maybe you use the wrong brand of peanut butter. I don't know. But don't come to me. You know what I mean? Or you you sitting there and you force feeding the baby every day. You steady put, pumping that bottle in and out of that baby mouth. Rubbing the, the paint off the lips. And then you come to the artist talk about, I don't know, but her lips are starting to peel. Well, I mean, I give her a bottle every day, but... Okay. And that is, again, another subject of why people don't want to do no such thing as warranty on art. There's no warrant. I don't think you could go and buy an art picture out of a gallery, out of an auction. And I may be wrong because I ain't never had enough money to go to one and buy one. But I don't think you could call back and say, um, 10 years from now, well, I was hanging the picture and I accidentally, the nail went through the picture. Can you fix it? I'm sure they got restoration, you know, shops and, you know, services here and there. But you're going to pay dearly for it it's not something that automatically comes on warranty yeah um you have five years but it's guaranteed with this painting and uh, maybe they do though maybe they do maybe it won't fade this paint won't fade you got five years i don't know but in the doll industry it ain't happening boo boo not with everybody i'm just saying some people too busy like do you imagine if i had to take back every doll that i ever painted in my whole life to fix something on I'll never paint a new doll again in my life because I'll be working on old dolls and making no money. It just don't work. Some of you guys don't even know what all that entails when y'all want to send these dolls back to do these different little things. You don't understand how much do the products cost and the time that we're taking away from other projects. You don't understand. It's not as simple as you think. And that's what Silicon and Reborn. Somebody asked me to redo a Reborn. Is you crazy? Do you, did you not see my garbage bag full of dolls that I just throw away? I ain't stripping nothing. I ain't never learned how to strip a reborn, and I ain't going to learn. I don't want to learn. 
I don't want to know. Maybe I should because maybe it might be a valuable kit that I can't get no more. I'm going to put my foot in my mouth watch because one day I'm going to want to learn. But I have not learned that. I do not know how to strip a reborn. So there it goes. Write that down to another thing I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do it. Don't really care to because guess what? If I got to fix a reborn and strip it down and do that, I'm going to charge you double what I charge to paint a new one. Why? Because now I got to charge you for the strip and the repaint. Ain't nobody finna be bothered with that. I'm just saying, like, that's too much. So anyway, moving right along, babies. We're moving right along, babies. Um, where we at? Where we at? I think this is enough. Um, let me know if it's something else you want to know. Oh, hair. The rooting in the hair. Child, listen, honey. Oh, the hair gonna fall out. This and other. Sometimes these hairs are very fine. And sometimes if you, you know, when you first get a doll, like when I first got one of my dolls, the hair, I kept having loose hairs in it or whatever. And the artist, I guess, had maybe washed through it or brushed through it or whatever. But sometimes they don't wash through it all the way. So the loose, you know, the extra hairs or whatever may fall a little bit at first or something. Sometimes. Sometimes they wash it enough to where you don't. Like I've washed winter hair several times. So now when I brush through her hair and comb through her hair, there's not no brush on her, no hair on the brush or the comb. Silicone is glue. Okay. So inside his hair is raw silicone. It's so sticky. Do y'all ever feel silicone? It's so sticky. Oh my gosh, it's sticky, sticky, sticky. Like those mouse traps that y'all stick down for the mice. That's how it is. Shut up. I know you had mice. Um, <laughs> just, just playing. Um, but some of y'all gonna be mad. She over here talking to us any kind of way. Um, but anyway, so when you stick that 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 hair through that head, it's making contact with that that sticky glue like so it's not like what people think oh it's just every time you brush it it's going to be slipping and falling out no if they root it deep enough in there man you ever have to pull silicone hair out of the doll man that don't take a minute because you got to pull pull and you got to be careful so you don't pull a chunk of the silicone out from when you pulling it depending on how deep they rooted it in there so really in all actuality is that a word actuality no, I don't think so. But anyway, y'all know what I meant. Um, the hair don't come out like that as easy as you think. Even with reborns, I've rooted reborns hair and, and haven't had it sealed and brushed in it, combed it and everything, and it come out right away. But don't do that. Please glue down the reborns hair. But I'm just saying, with silicone, we can't. You can't, you can't slice the top of the head off and, and glue it and then put it back on. It just don't work like that. It's solid. So... But it's, people will make you, oh, that hair falls out on the silicone. and this. If the silicone ain't for you, just say that. You don't got to tear it down, boo. Some of us want to enjoy our babies in peace. We don't want to hear that our babies are going to fall apart and all that and stuff. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all want to talk about something and y'all want to hear somebody tell y'all about old silicone that lasts and stood the test of time, Get with Melissa McCrory. Some of y'all don't know who that is. Melissa McCrory is the legend of silicone. She, Melissa McCrory is the first person in our community that I know of that um, poured platinum silicone. Um, whatchamacallit poured tin silicone before her. Um, gosh, I, I always forget her name. But Melissa McCrory is the first ones that dolls that was on YouTube like that. Um... Dana from Silicone Baby, she had like all the Melissa McCoy. So that lady has a lot of knowledge about silicone. Um, although she did not advance her techniques and her styles and stuff like that with her dolls, the actual um, integrity of the silicone, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, that type of stuff, she knows. I, I took the time and talked to her. Um, through chat one time for quite a bit of time and asked her a bunch of questions and she was so willing to answer the questions and stuff and I know she probably might not and I ain't telling y'all to go be bother bothering that later now later might cuss y'all out but don't that's gonna be on y'all but that lady will tell you she's had dogs with drinking wets forever ain't no mildew mold you know silicone still holding up like the day before there's just so many things that people say that's not true or it depends. It's circumstantial. Anyway, guys, this is it. I'll talk to y'all later. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and you want to hear more chats like this. And we'll, we'll get back to it.
or we can go live 